welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we'll be using the function table feature to answer a worded question using the Ask X feature. First of all, let's look at the example. The example says, all people attending a party shook hands with each other as a way of exchanging a greeting. The number of handshakes capital N exchanged between X people at the party is given by the function N of X, which equals X on two times X minus one, where X is obviously a positive integer. The first part or part A asks us to find the number of handshakes that would be exchanged between five people, 10 people and 50 people respectively. And part B asks us that given that uh, it's known that there's 136 handshakes exchanged, determine how many people at the party shook hands. Okay, let's press the table button to access our function table feature. And we press one or enter to add our function. Now, if there's an existing function in there for f of x, all you need to do is press clear to clear it. So we want to enter x on two times x minus one. So we press the fraction template key. We then press the variable key to access x. Then we press our down arrow to go down to the denominator box where we will enter two. Then press um, arrow to the right to get out of the fraction. Press the multiplication key, then open bracket, then the variable key to access X, the subtraction key, then press one, and then press the closing bracket and press enter. So we have our function entered. Note that we could also enter a second function there, G of X, if we needed it. Press enter, and it takes us now to our table setup. Now this time, we don't want to have our table expressed in auto form. We want to access our Ask X feature. So what we do is we use our arrow key down to highlight auto, then go one to the right to highlight our Ask X feature and press enter. And now we press enter again and it takes us to a blank table. Now, Let's say um, there were, uh, we wanted to find the number of handshakes that would be exchanged between five people at the party. So if we enter five for X and press enter, it tells us that there are 10 handshakes. If we now enter 10 and press enter, it tells us that there are 45 handshakes. And if we press 50 and press enter, it tells us there are 1,225 handshakes. To show you a calculation of one of these on the home screen, if we press second and then quit out of there to go to the home screen, we press the table feature again and then press number two. Notice that that pastes F open bracket onto the home screen. And now let's enter 50, for example, close brackets and press enter. That's another way of showing the calculation that 50 people end up exchanging 1,225 handshakes. Let's go back to the table and let's look at part B. Given 136 handshakes were exchanged, determine how many people at the party shook hands. So what we need to do is we need to go back into our table. So we press table, uh, one or enter, and then keep pressing enter until we get back to our table. Okay. So notice that when there are 10 people, there are 45 handshakes. So we want to determine the value of X such that N of X, and I know the calculator there says F of X, is 136. So what we can do is we can say, well, all right, let's add a guess. So let's add 15 and press enter. And notice that we get an updated answer of 105. So we need to increase X again. So let's try 16. Press enter and we get 120. So we're not far away. If we press 17 
and press enter, we end up with 136. So what we've done is we've used the table to solve an equation. We've uh, solved the equation 136 equals uh, x on 2 times x minus 1, and we've solved for x. And the solution is actually x equals 17, which means 17 people uh, shook hands and generated 136 handshakes. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.